Okay, Siri, define writer's block. The definition of the word writer's block is an inability to write. Cool. Hmm, the inability to write, but you have been given the gift of writing. Therefore you are able that's my video done thank you guys for coming um make sure to like comment and subscribe um yeah come on sorry about this curtain we have been living a lie our whole lives we do not have writer's block sometimes it's not that our mind is blocked it's that it's hungry for inspiration sometimes it's an indication that we need to spend more time with our thoughts but i'm sorry you do not have writer's block. You have something to add to this world. Like I said in my last video, every gift must bring value to this world, whether it's making someone happy, whether it's giving someone information, I don't know. But do not doubt your ability to write. The fact that you even have the passion to write, the fact that you even have the passion to create, that alone is the evidence that you are capable of doing that gift. So please do not believe the lie that you cannot write, that you cannot create, because we need you. We actually need you. Everyone in this planet is needed to contribute something to this world. So please don't believe that lie. Sometimes it's the fear of starting. We fear the blank page, right? We put pressure on ourselves to produce something great at the beginning stage. And when it doesn't go our way, <laughs> the fiery passion starts to fade. Another opportunity gone to waste to bless someone that needed your work, needed to hear those words. We say to ourselves, our mind is blocked. Block, 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 block. But what we don't realize by saying this, we are blocking the door that brings in a draft, the first draft. The stage when we just need to conquer the blank page or write the first line of that essay. As creatives, we feel that our ideas must come from an artsy, farty, airy, fairy place. When really, that is not always the case. But what I'm trying to say is that there is power in our words. Life and death is in the power of our tongue. So if we say, oh, I can't think of anything. Oh, um, I have writer's block, writer's block, 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 block. You're just closing your mind further and further and further and further. Until you give up, throw away pen and like, I don't know, go and eat or binge watch something and distract yourself. But that leads me on to my next tip. Turn off distractions. For me, that means turning off my social media for a bit. So stop, pause, turn off any distractions, anything that can impact your mood or actions. Now write down whatever comes to your mind. God has given us many layers to our thoughts. The deeper we go, the more hidden truths we'll find. Don't believe me? Well, have you ever written down the date and mistakenly written down someone's name instead? Or mistakenly called your teacher mum? You didn't plan to embarrass yourself in front of your class, right? But there were strings of thoughts swimming in a place you didn't know were there. This is what psychologists call our unconscious mind. Like an iceberg, there is more underneath than what we see on sea level. So when you see no ideas on the surface, please don't settle with I have nothing to give or nothing to write or it is not as good as what they did or what I did last time. Write without constraints or thinking for this first draft. It is not the final piece or the finished craft. Consistent movement, forget improvement for now. You may not know what you're looking for, but your inner thoughts do. That means going into my room and just being silent, being quiet for a bit and recentering myself to focus on being present in the now. And then once, once you're in that moment, the best inspiration you can have is from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit 
is the creator god is the creator so he has given us the gift to create so go from the source go get it get it straight from the source remember that inspiration can come from anything music a novel a netflix series a documentary anything but sometimes we need to take a seat back and just downsize the task because you are bigger than this task yeah you are bigger than this task okay this task is not bigger than you whether this is an essay whether this is a cv whether this is an application whether this is a book you're starting whether this is a spoken word that you've been asked to do you are in control it's not in control of you therefore you are bigger than the task and remember it makes sometimes it's so important to just sit down and affirm yourself of who you are you are smart you are wise you are intelligent you have the ability to write when you have a message to share when you have a story to write it is adding value so you holding it in like no i don't want to spread it out you are adding less value to this world we need you we need you okay this is starting to sound like propaganda we, we need you sometimes it's not even about what should i write it's about where am i right now because a lot of the things that we'll write will be inspired by the season that we are in when you started writing when you were a little kid and you picked up that pen for the first time or that instrument or whatever it was that you started how did you feel did you ever feel like oh i can never be this no as kids we imagined we had the greatest imagination and it was never restricted to anything logical we just imagined we envisioned things why did that stop why did that stop why should that stop as humans yeah when we find something challenging we tend to uh, you know just delay the situation procrastinate be like nah i'll do it later 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 but it's not because we're necessarily lazy it's not because oh we don't care deep down it's because we are scared of the challenge we are scared of the mental challenge remember you are not trying to write you are the writer you are not trying to create you are the creator Come out of the place of trying and start being, start seeing the best version of who you are. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, there is something placed within me that I have to share because there is someone out there that needs to hear this. Yes, it seems a bit weird to look at your reflection and speak, but we learn everything through repetition. The more you hear it, the more you believe it. The more you believe it, the more you act like it. The more you act like it, the more you end up becoming and being the best version of yourself this world has ever seen.